Bruno Mars, just one of the headliners that are uh, going to make Summerfest such a big event this year. Thanks to this guy, Bob Babish, hard at work all year long. He is Summerfest Entertainment Director. It all came together this year. Yeah, so far so good. I mean, we went. The sun comes out. It's nice out. We'll have a great time. I will still have a great time regardless whether the sun comes out or not. Actually, we've got great bands. We've got great bands starting out tonight with Bruno in here. We've got other great bands on the grounds. We got Arctic Monkeys. The list goes on and on. So everybody's going to have a good time. How hard are you praying that cold cloud that's a couple hundred yards off the shore, Lake Michigan, st stays away a little bit? Well, we like it when the fog's not here. But you know, people are going to have a good time whether it's foggy or not tonight. And one of the things when you put the fog on here, the lights kind of make it a cool thing. Cool effect. If you've got a pyrotechnic or a laser show as part of your act. Yeah, we've done it before, actually. It just seems like the acts keep getting bigger and better. Yeah, well, this summer we were lucky because a lot of big names are touring. And, and we knew that going in because they were talking about it real early on in the year. They were People were coming out and holding dates early on, which is usually a sign that a lot of good acts are going to be out on the road. And they're holding acts for next year, so that's a good sign that the business is good. And, and that's important to us. When fans want to work, the business is good, people are buying tickets, that's what it's all about. How competitive is the summer music festival scene? Coachella, Lollapalooza, yeah. Summerfest. It, is it a lot of you know throwing elbows in there trying to get the best acts? Yeah, yes, yes and no. The the charm for Summerfest is we have a very eclectic lineup where a lot of a lot of those events are, are pigeonholed into one format of music or close to one format of music. So it's good for us that we've got everybody out there. But that being said, there's a lot of country festivals out there. There's a lot of alternative festivals out there. There's a lot of EDM festivals now out there. So there's there's a lot of business out there that that you have to compete with. We were talking and you mentioned that you have come up with a lot of these promoters. I mean, over the years as Summerfest has developed. So that's kind of an in for you. You know a lot of these these men and women. Yeah, a lot of the agents, a lot of the managers. I mean, when we were when I was starting out here, those guys were starting out here. And now they're kind of up at the top of their game. So that helps you. At least they'll pick up your phone, you know, phone calls. Planning next year yet? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Every day we were talking about it it's in the back 20 minutes ago. It's in the back of your mind until what? As soon as this ends, are you already starting? Oh no, we're starting now. We're working. We're working on next year now. But you're not going to tell us, right? Dude. I already tried last Dude. week. He That's won't give it. And, and you'll sleep what? Mid July? <laughs> Something like that. Yeah. We're a little tired today. We know that. Yeah. All right, Bob Babish. He is the man who makes all the acts appear at Summerfest. Thank you so much for joining us today. Good seeing you guys. Thanks for all your help. Yeah. And I hope you have a great run this year. Now we're going to have live coverage of Summerfest on air. You can also keep tabs on the latest Summerfest happenings at our website. That's online for you at tmj4.com.